So this is the Kia, this is another heavy load. Uh, you can see the Eon sitting there with my little bit of shilling for the YouTube channel that you're watching now. And this car is really heavily loaded. It doesn't look it, um, unless you actually look to see how little wheel guards left at the back. Uh, don't yet know what's in, like weight-wise, what's in this vehicle. But I'll tell you that it's enough that every little bump that I hit, the front and the rear hitting the bump stops. So we're about at the max. And if you have a look, yeah, that's wood. Like everything there is just wood. And it's not just a little bit, it's the entire vehicle. And yeah, it's there's a lot of weight in this vehicle today. So I'll be putting this over the scales and then we'll be seeing what the weight is and um, showing off how it handles. So it turned out that I was right on the maximum load riding of the Kia. It, this is a seriously heavy load. So I'm driving manually here, and as soon as you see it go green, which is as soon as I get on the freeway, uh, from here on it drives itself. Now for most of the lane changes I let it do it uh, automatically as well, so auto lane change was used. Not every time. So the reason you'll see it flash red occasionally is I wanted to change lane quicker, or I just didn't uh, want to do what you know a standard lane change. Now the reason the cars are travelling a little bit faster than me here is because this particular area, instead of setting the cruise control at 110, I set it at 100 I'm in the country, I'm not used to 110, it wasn't until this vehicle passed me, I'm like, why is everyone passing me? And I was like, oh, oh, idiot. So, yeah, now I'm traveling the speed limit. Australia is not a place you speed. Uh, basically, 30 k's over, you've lost a license, 30 k's over a second time, four month prison. So you just don't speed, and obviously the fines, even for going five k's over, is massive in the sense that it's about five hundred dollars. It's just it's massive, so you just don't speed. So yeah, open pilot drove this fine. You can see the sun is in a really bad position, uh, ruins the video quite badly. But open pilot drove fine for pretty much this whole trip. Um, I'm obviously not going to show the whole trip. I just wanted to show that you know this type of load inside the vehicle it really doesn't affect its performance and I really wanted to push these points across because there's been uh, chat multiple times that I've seen which says that you know a heavy loaded vehicle or a vehicle towing is not going to drive properly or it needs a totally new tune not at all true not at all true because you know I drove down with this tuning and then we go and put six seven hundred kilos inside the vehicle let's just say it's about that and then I drive home with the exact same tuning and it works absolutely perfectly, including auto lane change. This is it. So that should be at least two tonne, or exactly two tonne hopefully, behind the key. It actually turned out to be 1.95 tonnes behind the Kia. I'm guessing it was about 50 kilograms on the ball, could have been 100, but either way, I was at the absolute maximum limit. Uh, which is good because the people loading and told me what the weight was and within 50 kilograms they, they put on exactly what they said they would. Now, unfortunately this trip, I turned off the freeway right here and for the rest of the trip I ended up being on single lane roads which it doesn't really steer well on with no missing line, lanes or anything. And the second part of the trip, my GoPro would not turn on. I could not get it to record. I don't know what went wrong. I plugged into the charger. The charge light came on, but it still wouldn't record. Put the battery, put it back in. Either way, I got this little bit recorded, but you can see I couldn't keep it on. It had nothing to do with the trailer. You can see when I was on the freeway, it did tow absolutely perfectly. And I'm always doing loads like this. So again, heavy load, not a problem. Towing a trailer, not a problem. So this last bit of video here is uh, still while I'm towing the trailer and this is at real time unfortunately I didn't have the Eon recording at this point uh, but you can see how stable it is um, you can see that it's sitting in its lines without any trouble so when we come up to a corner like this it sits in its lane correctly we don't need to worry about wandering, uh, you know, excessively left or right in corners because the trailer's not actually that long. It's only a 40-foot trailer that I'm towing. Uh, actually, no, it's only a 12-foot trailer that I'm towing this time. 
But either way, it's a short trial and it doesn't really matter. And yeah, you can see that there's no wobble, there's none of the issues that are believed to be caused from the extra weight. So if you are having trouble with steering like that in your vehicle, you can't be blaming the weight or anything like that in your tuning, it's going to be something else. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, help me hit 100 so that at least I can get a custom URL rather than what I've got at the moment. And uh, yeah, help like and spread these videos and I'll be bringing more. And very soon you're going to be seeing some issues with the Kia and also some benefits with the Kia. So we're not going to just be looking at, uh, you know, it's steering, but the car itself.